mass import of tasks, self-onboarding, when incorporating tasks to pre-existing projects into core, import tasks in bulk to save time. Import your tasks. Although it is not mandatory to use these kinds of bulk actions, at core, we believe that their incorporation will make a difference in your business. Let's begin. Within the projects module, go to the file upload icon and select import tasks to existing projects. Here you will be able to download the template file for a bulk upload, or you can upload your own file. If you choose the first option, you will see that the Google spreadsheet has 10 columns, of which project ID or work order, column A, and the task name, column B, must be filled in. Each of the rows will have the information of the task to be created within a pre-existing project in core. ID, or existing project work order, is a value that can either be the ID automatically assigned by core or the manually assigned work order. In PM email, you must upload an existing core user who will be the project manager for the task. If you do not fill in the field, the user who uploads the bulk upload file will be assigned by default as PM. You should not leave any spaces. Collaborator's email corresponds to the email of the existing core user who will be a collaborating member of the task. If you need to add multiple collaborators, remember that the maximum is 20, and you must add each email separated by a comma. Start or start date for the task. The correct format is year, month, date. Remember that if you do not enter a value, today will automatically be assigned as the start date. End or end date for the task. The format is year, month, date. If you do not enter a value, by default, the project will have no deadline assigned. Priority or task priority. You must complete it according to the existing ones in core, low, medium, high, or urgent. If you do not complete the field, it will be created by default with medium priority. Brief or description. Estimated time. Here you will enter the estimated amount of time in minutes it will take to complete the task. You must enter it in decimals and separated by a dot. For example, if you estimate that the task will take 15 minutes, you should write 0.25. Label or tags. For now, you will only be able to add an existing label per task for the bulk upload. Remember that the ID or existing project work order can easily be found in the project URL within the Info tab or inside the Projects module by clicking on the Export Projects in Excel button. You will see in the downloaded Excel the IDs for the listed projects. When the file is ready, confirm that there is only one sheet, there cannot be any hidden sheets, and make sure that the file is unformatted. To do this, select All, go to Format, and select the option Clear Formatting and Plain Text. You must also select columns E and F, task start and end date, and adjust the format. It is important to follow these steps to avoid the file not being recognized or the tasks not being properly listed. Go back to Core, click on the Select Files button, and open the full spreadsheet. In Project Preview, you will see that the format is correct and all fields are valid. When you click OK, you will see the confirmation for the successful upload and the number of tasks created. You can now view them in your account. In case the selected file is incomplete, missing mandatory data or has duplicate information, Core's preview will highlight it in red and you will have to correct the data. If you notice that the information has not been uploaded, check the file format and header and verify that there are no additional sheets. Remember that the file must be .xlsx, and the maximum number of tasks per file that can be uploaded is 250.